This video will show you how to change an object's size or length in AutoCAD LT. The commands used to make these types of changes are Scale, Trim and Extend, and Lengthen. Let's start with the Scale command. The Scale command is located on the Modify panel of the Home tab. When you start the command, you are first prompted to select objects in this case, a rectangle. When you're finished selecting objects, press Enter or the spacebar to see the next prompt. Right now, I'm being asked for a base point. This will define the center of our scaling operation. I'm going to choose the bottom left-hand corner of the rectangle. After I pick my base point, I'm asked to specify a scale factor. This will determine by what proportion the object is enlarged or reduced. A scale factor greater than 1 will enlarge the object, while a scale factor less than 1 will shrink it. In this case, I'd like to double the size of the rectangle, so I will enter 2 and press Enter. The rectangle has now doubled in size. The Scale command also includes a Copy option to create a scaled copy of the object while leaving the original intact. So again, I can select the rectangle, select a base point, and this time I'm going to use the dynamic prompt to select copy and a scale factor of 0.5. If you know the final length of an object, but not its original length, you can use the reference option. I have a hexagon here. I don't know its current size, but I know that I want each edge to be five units long. So I'll start the scale command select the hexagon, and pick one corner of the hexagon for my base point. Instead of entering a scale factor now, though, I will select reference from the dynamic input. Now I'm asked for reference length, which in this case is the original side of the hexagon, from one end point to another. The next prompt is for a new length, so I can type 5, and press Enter. The hexagon now has an edge length of 5 units. With the Trim and Extend commands, you can change the length of objects to align with a reference object. Trim and Extend are also available from the Modify panel of the Home tab. When you start either Trim or Extend, you're first asked to select Cutting Edges. These will be used as boundaries for the objects you want to change. To use everything in the drawing as a cutting edge, press Enter at this prompt. In this example, I'm going to select the left-hand vertical line as a cutting edge, but not the right-hand one. The next step is to select objects to trim or extend. When trimming or extending, you want to select the end that you want to change. You see that when I click on the left end of the topmost line, it is trimmed back to the vertical line. You can also select objects to trim or extend with a crossing window. When I select the next group of horizontal lines, you see that they are all trimmed. Notice how they are trimmed all the way to the left-hand line, since the right-hand line was not selected as a cutting edge. If you start the Trim command, but then want to extend objects, or vice versa, use Shift to switch between the two modes. If you would like to change the length of an object, but you don't have a reference line like we used for trimming and extending, you can use the Lengthen command. Lengthen is accessible from the expanded portion of the Modify panel on the Home tab. When you start the command, you're presented with several options, Delta, Percent, Total, and Dynamic. Delta increases or decreases the length of an object by a specific increment. Positive values extend the object, while negative ones shorten it. Percent allows you to specify a size that is a percentage of the current length, so entering 200 would double the size of an object. Total enables you to specify the overall length of the object, regardless of its starting value. Finally, dynamic enables you to pick a new endpoint of the arc or line. I will use the delta option 
to increase the length of the line by 5 units. I will select the end I want to change, and the line size has increased. The delta and total options also include a prompt to specify changes to the included angle of an arc instead of its length. For example, I will use the total option to specify an included angle of 90 degrees and select the arc on the right hand side. The included angle of the arc is changed to 90 degrees. Now you have seen the scale, trim and extend, and lengthen commands which are the three basic ways to change the length or size of an object. For more information on AutoCAD LT features and commands, please visit the LT homepage at www.autodesk.com slash AutoCAD LT.